Hi everybody, I uh, wanted to do a follow on video to the um, rifle chamber polishing. I've had some questions about it and somebody actually asked me to see what the end result was after it got polished. So it's going to be kind of hard to see I think. But there's the, uh, there's the end result. I don't know if you can see it all that well. But there's tooling marks on the shoulder itself, which I don't mess with um, because that's not what causes the cases to stick in the chamber but rather on the walls themselves and that is nice and shiny and all you do is uh, use steel wool on that and uh, some soft scrub and if you do that oops if you do that it'll come out really good and just continue doing that with a drill using the soft scrub and using the uh, steel wool not sure that we capture that all that well but for those of you who asked uh, what it looked like you know after it got done that's that's kind of what it looks like and all you need it's a drill, cordless drill. Put a steel wool on the chuck, just like that. I use a, a brush, then wrap steel wool on it. And then just polish that chamber in and out. You can use soft scrub, as you can see up there. Uh, in the same manner, uh, you can put soft scrub in it and then do it without the soft scrub. And it just provides an element of friction in there that is nice and smooth for you to polish that chamber really good. So <clears throat> if you're having if you have any issues with extraction and things like that, it could be a chamber that has some tooling marks in it, just enough for the case to grab onto when you fire it and it expands and fire forms itself to that chamber. So the way to get it out, uh, or the way to keep that from happening is just to polish that chamber and then uh, you don't have to worry about it. So hope that helped uh, someone. Uh, thanks for watching everybody and God bless y'all.